So in short, this has got to be one of the better loadouts I think that I've ever come up with. This thing fits everything you could possibly want. Went over a couple of stuff in the live. And I'm not going to bore you guys with the long drawn out video. Pretty much the gist of it is that this tough build doesn't fit near what I thought it would. This is like 16 bucks. This is like 20 and it fits more than this one does. And then this pouch is a hundred bucks. So in short, everything seen here, and you'll note that we're actually missing a slot right there. We can put another tool there. Everything here fits in here with this freaking multimeter. And these tools, this one, these, this, and this does not fit inside the tough belt. And neither does a multimeter. So that's pretty much the gist of the short. I know it's bad for my bottom line to just explain the videos very quickly like that. But you know what? Your time is valuable. And uh, this channel was never going to try to drag you guys on. Even if it does affect my bottom line. That's the bottom line of my character is I'm not going to waste your time. So I do appreciate you guys watching and tuning in and sticking around. But I got something... For you guys now i try to interact with you guys in the chat as much as i can somebody reached out to me where is this thing somebody reached out to me about the klein bit holder video so we are going to talk about it there goes one bit right now somebody said they didn't feel like the slop was relevant uh maybe i didn't show it good enough but Pretty relevant here. You can you can just see that it's not going to be as good. I could probably slide that out with my finger now. No, it's like really loose, like like really really loose. Like this is how loose it is. You can put it in and out. But that's not what this video is about. Or well, that's not what the extra is about. You can see how good that latch is there. Really had to get some weight behind it. What you do, look at it go. You get this big case because this big case is really, really tough. You can you can see how good the latch is. I'm gonna have to do it again. There you go. And what you do, you get your flathead here. And you pry this out right here like that and then you put it in backwards and you face it down then you take all these bits out because it's no secret but the Milwaukee's are garbage and you put them in your spare drawer or you can throw them in the bushes then you pry this guy out here you pick up the tools that you dropped on the floor you get all these out Put those in the spare drawer. Then you get your good bits, your long ones. Your Malcos, your DeWalt's. Not your Ryobi's, those stay at home. Get your longer ones. That one's a little bit too long. You move this one to your bottom slot. And just start filling it up. Then you go back and grab any extra bits that you might want. You get some Makita XPS's. And then you've got a really nice case. Oh, you gotta take the stickers off. You take your time like I didn't. Then you latch it. Uh, it's really stiff. Then you latch it. And then with all this weight, you gotta test it. See, we dropped one there. Gotta test it on all the angles in case you drop it. You can see it didn't open. We can see all our bits are still more or less in there. It's nice because it's a clear case. You can see all your bits. You can kind of put extras in there that are, would otherwise kind of be loose leaf bouncing around. Latch it up. Then you load your tools up like you're actually going to get something done. 
you pull up to an actual job site instead of getting out of your service van. You put your construction tools on and you go to work. One thing we're probably missing here would be the gator back tool belt with the suspender system. The suspenders are absolutely underrated when you're carrying this much weight. Anybody that tells you otherwise is not experienced enough to know any better. You got to wear suspenders, you're wearing all this weight. I don't have that system because if you're new to the channel, we had molded our house. I lost everything I've ever owned. We had to throw away all my tools. What tools I did bring to my new house actually started contaminating the new house. And uh, that's why all the tools pretty much look new. But um, yeah, I've been in the trade since 2007. I do electrical inspections now. And if you guys have any questions, code, tools, anything, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and sub for more. Forgot to mention the fuel surge is really underrated for this trade. I'm sure we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.